welcome to the Coach Slave Academy Lab Guide. Manu Ray here uh, from us, as part team. And today we're going to travel to Europe, uh, to France, to the circuit of Manicurs. Uh, we're going to drive the Lamborghini GT3 for the week three of the IMSA iRacing series. And let's take a look uh, what a fast lap is here in this amazing and tricky track. Let's go. Okay, so here's the starting lap, uh, a tricky chicane that we are going to talk about it later at the end of the lap. And okay, so uh, for the first straight, it's a little bit uh, strange because you can go this wide over outside the, the curb. It's not an track, And you needed to, to do it a, a good, uh, to have a good race online on the first corner and the second corner. We're going to go over the curb, even with the grass. We're gonna lift a little bit. In this case, I went too wide, but it's, it's better to put the car on the middle of the track and cut the second curb. And at the end of that second curb, uh, slightly braking. And we're gonna let the car roll to the left, uh, keep the, the racing line, go to the left, a lot of track braking, start throttle a little bit to make the car turn and make the car rotate and now we have to take a look at this inside green curve that appears here on the right as you see here and at the end of this curve is going to be our apex to put the car in that part to have the maximum uh, uh, rotation to uh, be able to go uh, full throttle right now and to not going too wide to the off track on the left so that end of this curve this corner right here is our apex so our inside point and go full throttle and go over the curve okay here's gonna go the the most uh, high breaking zone uh, we're gonna take a look at this second line this is the first white line here on the left and we're gonna break in the second one so really hard break really near nearly 90 percent as you see here 90 percent of break we're gonna keep the car on the straight and as we as soon as we can uh, make the car to the inside and we're gonna have a late entry to have better exit and more traction as you see here, we're going to start throttle little by little and 100% with the card almost straight. And now uh, it starts uh, for me, the trickiest part here on the, the Manji course is uh, a combination of chicanes and, and blind corners. Uh, starting with this one is a fast right 
right, left. And we're gonna uh, use this 50 board here on the left and the white line too as a breaking point and uh, turn it in uh, point two. So as, as soon as we reach the 50 board, we're gonna break down to fourth gear and we have to put the car a little bit over the green, over the orange sources here on the right. We're gonna do this over this, not using too much because uh, we would uh, break the car or even uh, rotate too much and 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 uh, with uh, uh, with with a spin. So uh, we go over the the curb and really really soon flat out left hander. You have to use all the all the curb really. Uh, take care with the slowdown that there is here on the left. So completely flat out left hander. And now there is a, a really complicated reference point. Uh, for me, I use this uh, dirty extra zone here on the right, or even uh, an antenna here on the left, but uh, I see because I have three three screens. But if if I don't use this antenna, uh, I use this dirty this extra dirt here on the right. So you can see here this one. As soon as we reach this dirt zone, I'm gonna start breaking and uh, very careful with this corner because uh, it it has a late late entry. Uh, and the car in this part uh, can rotate too much on the entry so be very careful there to not spin the car and we have to maintain with uh, um, tread braking as you see here we wait and we start at the maximum turning in point here we start throttle not too much because uh, the oversteer and we are gonna use this extra here, the extra part on the curb. There's a bump here, but there's no problem. It's, it's flat out. So as you see here, this bump and flat out. And another complicated chicane, another chicane, this sublime entry. So we have to take a look to this first white line and the second white, the second one. We're gonna use the second one, this white line as as the same as before, as a breaking point and turning in point, because you, you can't see the apex here. So as soon as we reach this, this white line, we're going to break and start turning in. Now you, can, now you can see the curve here, so you can control uh, the steering wheel where you want to put the car. And light braking again, we're going to go a little bit over the orange sources, and here we're going to go full throttle, full throttle in the middle of the corners and then we're going to leave because we have to sacrifice the exit of this left hander we have to sacrifice because we have to put uh, the car uh, not too much on the right because the the next corner is a right hander so we have to put the car in the middle of the track even closer to the left to to put the car and uh, and gain the most uh, the most speed for the next corner so as you see here, I go with low with low throttle to sacrifice the exit and full throttle right now. And as soon as we can put the car in the left part of the track and on the start of this curve, we're going to break another hard break down to first gear and touching a little bit of the orange sources too again. Not too much because we're gonna. If you touch it too much, uh, you're gonna bump a lot and and lose a lot of time. And now um, we're gonna reach uh, the most complicated for me in this in this track. It is it is the the last chicane because you have to believe in the car and in the racing line that you are doing because the car is going to fly uh, uh, to do it uh, the, the, the best you can do. Uh, the car has to fly over the, the first curve and, and has to land 
really really flat with no movements to go flat out to the second to the second corner but uh, we will see right now before we're gonna reach this right hander we're gonna look this 100 board and break a little bit earlier down to second gear and again as the the corner before we we have these orange sources here and the curve we're gonna go over the curve and touching a little bit of the of the sources. And now this exit is really important because you have to place the car in this green zone to to make the chicane as straight as you can. So you will see here we are gonna go over a lot of curve. The car is gonna fly. The the front is gonna fly as you can see, and you have to pray and to believe. To, you have to practice a lot this this chicane because you have to 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 know the the how the car lands and and to control to to not losing too much and not cutting too much the corners but as you see here we're gonna fly on the first one and the car is gonna flat straight and now we can go really high throttle for the second we're gonna take a look on the inside. We're gonna fly it on the first and land really flat. Fly it on the second a little bit less. And you have to use all this extra green zone on the right. And the lap is done. But this for me, you have to practice a lot. Uh, when I reached this track, I used to go more to the left but uh, i i was uh, really slow so then i tried to to go over that curve and fly knowing that the off track is a little bit uh, to the left and this to to the left too and uh, it's really really faster and of course using this this extra part of the track and that's it that's the 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 <laughs> the harsh chicane to do but lovely track and classic car Okay, so that's uh, a detail up here in the classic track of uh, Manicure. Uh, I hope you you find this information useful and uh, and see you in more videos and more lab guides, more setup sessions. And don't forget to to subscribe on YouTube channel and to follow us on on Twitter. And uh, as always, uh, take care. See you soon and see you next week. Bye bye.